From, the le from your left to your right, we are joined by head coach Rick Barnes, Zakai Ziegler, Jemai Meshack, and Josiah Jordan-James. Coach, if you wouldn't mind starting us out with an opening statement, we'll go from there. I, I really thought both teams just played their hearts out, played really hard is what you would expect, obviously, this time of year. And the stuff that uh, Coach McDermott does with his team, I, I tell you, they're extremely, extremely hard team to guard. And um, really proud of the effort defensively. Uh, and again, they uh, do a lot of things that are really difficult. But also, you know, we made a run. And this time of year, uh, you expect them to make a run, which they did. And uh, But really proud of the way our guys stayed with each other, did what we had to do, and a uh, great win for our program. And um, these guys up here, I, I just thought they were terrific with uh, a mindset coming in and continuing to continue with it throughout the game. Thanks, Coach. Let's go to Vedant Gupta, Global Media. Coach Barnes, over the last few decades, you've coached some incredibly talented teams. But off the court, there's qualities that help a team make a run to the Elite Eight, like this team. What about the character of these young men on this team on and off the court, make them so great? Well, if, if you were with us every day, I think you'd understand why I still love coaching so much because what you see those guys do tonight, I watch them do it every day. And they would tell you that, you know, we, we do. We go at it probably sometimes too hard, but uh, they've embraced it. I'm, each one of these guys in their own way has brought something to our program when, when we recruited them. But uh, it's, it's their effort. And again, uh, they demand it from each other. And only the days when they're a little tired, maybe I get on them. But otherwise, they, they do a pretty good job pushing themselves and coaching themselves, knowing what it takes to win at this level. We're going to flip it back over the right side, starting in the third row here, if we can get a mic on the end. We'll continue here with Coach Barnes. We'll start on the front in row one. We can get a mic over there. How you doing, Coach? Uh, Terry Davis, tri set defender. Uh, That's a great game win. How do you? What do you tell your players to turn the page quickly so you can face a real tough Purdue team in a really, really tough environment? Well, one, I wanted them to enjoy this one. I, I thought I'd, it was a really uh, a, an all-around team win. We had two freshmen that we started telling them today, spend extra time in the film room, say, you're going to play at some point in time. And I thought, again, Freddie had a great assist. that got a three. Then Cam went in, uh, got, an, got a possession for us, and knocked down a three. I thought those were huge plays. but. Uh, um, you know, we played Purdue earlier in the year. We, you know, it was a, a loaded field in, in uh, Maui, Honolulu, and uh, hard-fought game. It really was. And, and uh, but we'll, we'll get back at it with them. Uh, you know, I thought we were playing uh, Friday, Sunday, right? It's already Saturday, so we're in, in really playing Saturday, Sunday. But the fact is, and I just heard we got the early game, so. But right now, it's, it's, it's a mental prep, and we know that. And, uh, but um, again, we, we obviously have great respect for, for Purdue, and we've, we've played them. But they're, they're much better, and I'd like to think we are, too. Let's stay here in the second row. Rob Lewis with BallQuest.com. Coach, Tobey didn't have a big stat line, but just how, how important was he for you guys tonight, especially in that second half? Well, I thought Tobey and, and Jemais, and even uh, I, I guarantee when I watch the tape, uh, some of those tip out rebounds and Josiah got his hand on it. But those extra possessions are huge, especially there at the end. And big big three-point play. Uh, you know, we went to an empty ball screen and on the side, and uh, Z made the right read. And uh, that was a big play for us. But it was his effort getting on the glass. And I, I thought, again, uh, both Shaq and when we switched off a few times on, on the big fella, you know, that they did their job holding the ground there. And But uh, – Again, Tobey has, has gotten better and better and better. And if you really think about it, you know, he and Zakai played on the same, come out of the same AAU program. And neither one of them were highly recruited, but uh, they both play with a lot of heart. And uh, we're just blessed and fortunate to have them. Thanks, Coach. We'll flip it over to the left side in the front row. Yeah, Rick, you hear Jemai say that we've been working all year to get past the Sweet 16 and having not been you know, past this point with Tennessee yet. Do you take a moment to, to sit and enjoy this and, and see what this team's capable of? I'm not sure I'll be able to do it until we're finished. But, uh, you know, a year ago we felt we had a really good team, a, a team that could do some damage. And I'm as proud of, of that team a year ago because when Zakai went down, we had to totally remake ourselves. And uh, I'm not sure Shaq has started since that where he was our starting point guard the last – once Zakai went down. And uh, – we got to the Sweet 16, and and uh, and they from the time they came back, they they talked about it, you know, that they wanted to get better, wanted to go further, and they're a close knit group of guys. They they uh, I really felt like in the last 
after the SEC tournament, they have done a, just an incredible job of, of getting after each other and holding each other to a higher level, higher standard. And, uh, you know, I do my – I think I do my job getting after them, but it, it's a whole lot easier when they start getting at each other. And uh, it happened the other night in the game, uh, uh, you know, where Dalton was struggling a little bit and they snapped at him to try to snap him out of it. And then they talked to him again. I mean, when you get teams that care that much and can take – the coaching from each other, it's a good thing. And uh, that's where I can tell you the loss in the SEC tournament helped us. Thanks, Coach. Two more questions we're going to use right here in the second half. Larry Leach from the Associated Press. Uh, Dalton, at the beginning of that uh, second half, he had like six points, four assists. Um, Creighton called two timeouts. Can you reflect on his play in particular during that stretch? Well, uh, again, I thought, I thought he – Tonight he did more. He was trying to rebound the ball. You know, I thought he really got back where he. I thought, I thought he was really engaged defensively and not just thinking I got to score, score, score. And he, you know, when he gets that look and he's going with it, and I actually told him, you know, when you're in a ball screen, they're coming. You're going to have to let Z have some shots at it, and Z made a couple of them. But he, he's highly competitive. And then when he gets out, uh, our defense broke that game over early for us. We got deflections and got out and ran. You look at them, I mean, they're such an excellent position basketball team defensively. They don't, uh, they don't foul as much as I was asking for them to be called. I mean, they, don't, they, they just do a, great, they do a great job at poking at the ball. But, um, they, uh, but during that stretch, he, he got it going. And obviously, our guys have seen it. When they do that, they're going to try to play to him. Josh Horsch, fan sided. Um, you mentioned that three-point play near the end of the game, just under two minutes left. Um, you guys didn't seem to have any fear of Kalkbrenner and his size. Is that something that was part of the game plan to go right after him? You blocked him a couple times on the defensive end. And I know it's obviously early, but do you think that will carry over to the Purdue matchup with Edie? You know, er every game, every team is different, and it will be a, a different uh, something, uh, again, once we go back and start digging into it. But uh, – you know, they we worked really hard on on drop coverage, but uh, where they drop it because we knew we were going to get shots, and we had to decide: do we want to pull up behind and shoot the three? Do we want to get inside the? And, and all I ask them to do: if you're open behind the screen, I, we expected those two guys to shoot it, Zakai and 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 Dalton. But if not, I said get inside the 15 foot area to engage them, and from there you got to make the right decision. And uh, whether it's a floater or whatever it is, you got to shoot it with. Uh, with with uh, confidence, and then uh, Tobey got a couple where we said you the post guys got to get to the rim, and uh, then defensively uh, we we weren't going to double team him. Uh, I thought they were really well prepared.